Hey guys! So today I thought I would do the products I regret buying video and I don't believe this is a tag but um, a while ago I saw people doing it and I've always wanted to do this so um, I thought I would just do it. What am I saying? In no way I am I trying to hate on any of these companies. It just happens that these exact products may not have been like the right color for me or like I, it's just these products. I, that doesn't mean I don't like the company. Um, and it just so happens that majority of these are drugstore products and um, I'm not saying anything like that drugstore products are bad. I love drugstore products. Um, that's like a majority of my makeup is a lot of it is drugstore products. But I mean you just kind of with this you kind of understand the saying you get what you paid for. So um, if you paid for less you got to expect less. I wanted to start off with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And this one was in Sparkly Nude 625, shade 625 Sparkly Nude. And this is what it looks like. But you see the problem here is that it's flat because I can't get to it because... I see I used it because that's what you do with makeup products but I used it to a point where there's nothing left and it did not last very long and I feel like there's a way that I can get more of it because this feels pretty heavy like it doesn't feel like I don't know maybe it's completely makeup product I have no idea but um, I feel like this is a waste for I know it's not very expensive but I feel like what I maybe paid for it was not worth that little tip even though I really like the color and it was a good product, but I just think it's so such a little amount. So that's why I regret buying that. A lot of these products that I'm talking about will definitely come as a surprise to a lot of you because there are a lot of products that are all the time raved about. So I decided to try them out, like not taking any consideration into like everything else, like what other people say and all the beauty gurus and everything. And so I decided the first... Maybelline color tattoo I bought was um, Tough as Taupe. So this is what it looks like. Um, the lighting isn't really giving good color payoff, but it's very dark. It has slight, slight bit shimmer. Um, and it's very dark, kind of like, I mean, it's taupe. It's grayish. But um, the problem with this is, yes, it was my first one, and it was very creamy once I got it, when I first got it. But, um... I have two other Maybelline color tattoos, and I use them as bases before I put my eyeshadow on, or sometimes just on their own, but they're, like, very light, and, um, so they're light enough that it's not, like, dramatic, but this, like, I just don't know what to do with this color. Like, do I put it in my crease? But, you see, I left it out for a while because I wasn't doing dramatic looks for a little bit, and I come back, and I can't use it at all because it's completely dried up, and I'm like, what? It's like so dried up that it's not even sticking to the sides. Like I could probably like beat it so many times that it'll fall out. And so I do not think this is worth the price. And that's not saying anything. Actually I have three other color tattoos. And I love all three of the other ones. But I just don't like the toughest taupe one. Also don't like about the product how fast it dries up. That's just what I don't like if I don't use it for a while. But I think that's just all um, cream shadows. This is the Tarte um Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Cream Eyeshadow in Slate. And this is what the color looks like. It's kind of like a bronzy, like grayish taupey. It looks more bronzy on this light, but it, ha it has a slight hint of gray in it. And I really do like it. I like this color. Um, I would not wear it on its own, though, because it is so sheer, and that's what I don't like about it. It's not such an expensive brand, but it's a higher-end brand. I could get this much pigment coming off from a drugstore product, so why would I want to buy a Tarte product? But I still like it, so I'm still going to use it. I mean, I already bought it, so. Another product that will definitely come as a surprise is my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And this is one of my first blushes that I got, so I was kind of confused because, one... It doesn't bounce. Why is it called Dream Bouncy if it's like, doesn't bounce, okay? Um, two, I don't know, I, I really like the color, but it's not as pigmented as I wish it was. So when I put it on my cheeks, it just doesn't really come off very well. And so I kind of think that like, this color, this rose petal color in shade 15, I just think that's like, not a very good color. That's the color, by the way. Ah! 
Um, and I don't think I hate it. I just also have a problem with cream blushes. It just rubs off all of my concealer and foundation. And I feel like it's just... I don't know. I have a problem with putting it on. I have issues with that. Another thing, of course, that will come as a surprise to you is baby lips. Baby lips. So this one is the peppermint one. Um, and it's completely clear. And I had a few other baby lips with this. I think I lost the other ones. I don't know. But I just... I mean, I like the smell. I like the texture. But what I really don't like is it dries your lips out so much. And I just... Mmm, I just hate when chapsticks do that because, like, everyone raved about it so much, and I just don't understand because, like, did they not see that their lips were flaking? No, no. I still use it on occasion, but, like, it's definitely not one of my holy grail ones because it dries out my lips so badly, and I know it dries out other people's lips, too. So, boo to this. Okay, promise, guys, last product that everyone loves that I don't like. Um, so this is my Revlon Lip Butter, but again, it's this exact one. It's not Revlon Lip Butters. I love all my other Revlon Lip Butters. I do not like this one. It's in shade 65 called Creamsicle. And so this is my first Revlon Lip Butter that I bought. And, I mean, it's almost out right now because I decided to give it a try so many times. It's like, it looks orange right now, but it's really a creamy, like, um, nude color. And so this is like... One of my first lipsticks I bought, and I thought maybe I wanted like nude, very neutral color, and I've heard I heard such great things about the Revlon lip butters, so I picked out this one because I thought it would be a really great new color. Put it on, and it comes off like it doesn't. It comes off like streaky on my lips, like, and it does not blend in. And if I do blend it in, it just returns back to my regular lip color like it when I apply it it does not apply like correctly like I hate it I hate the color I just really don't like it and so I finally had the courage to try more lip butters after this devastating one and I'm so glad I did because I really like my pink ones but this one creamsicle we can just push away far far away this NYX extreme lip cream um, and I don't know what color it's in, but you can see the color from the container. It's just like that. And see, I got it kind of simultaneously with the Revlon Lip Butter. I thought I wanted a nude, like, lipstick, and I thought maybe I wanted a gloss to go over it. So I bought this Extreme Lip Cream. It's matte. It's going to be great. Oh, see, it's in... XLC 10 natural so it's natural it's supposed to look natural right when I put it on I look like a vampire I don't know like the color let me just let me just show you how it comes off it comes off literally skin tone like but darker so it looks so awkward like that is the color and I just it looks like foundation to be honest and I just I don't understand why there should be a lip color, this color, and I think the product is really great, like, I think it goes on really well, but this color is just, no, just, just no. I've seen a lot of people use this, but I haven't necessarily heard, like, amazing things about it. It's the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo, um, and that's what it looks like. I did hit pan on the bronzer, and then that's the blush side. Everyone says it's like the dupe for the NARS Orgasm Laguna. Like, oh no, buy this, it's just as good. No, this is pure poop. Like, when I say poop, I mean literally poop. Because when I put this brown color on my face, it stays in one place and like won't move. So like, I'll put it, you know, over here and stuff. And then I'll try and blend it out to make it look more natural. No, no, it won't move. It'll just go on the spots that I put cover up on and just like, stages and random areas like my friends will be like on oh, my face like why do you have a random brown spot I really don't like it the blush on the other hand I don't really mind I mean I don't think it's very good it doesn't it's not very pigmented but um yeah I mean I used this for a while when I was first trying out bronzers and blush and um I thought I liked it until I tried um Hoola by Benefit and now I'm like wow this sucks but it is e.l.f. and it was $3, so I mean, you can't go wrong with $3, even though, and I use it for a long time. This is my Urban Decay Good for One Fair Eyeshadow in Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. So, 
Yeah, Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. The color is like this. And so I saw that the Urban Decay was having like a really good sale on their website. Like I'm pretty sure they had each eyeshadow for $10, which is like $8 cheaper. If they're usually $18 or $20, I'm not sure. But like it's a lot cheaper than what they have in store. And I was like, mm, I'm going to take advantage of this deal on the Urban Decay website. So I bought two. Then this one, I was really excited because I thought, you know, the color is really pretty. It's like brown. It's got all this glitter. has a little bit of gray in it. Like... Real, really excited, but I come to find that it is not pigmented at all, has such bad fallout, and I feel like Urban Decay has some, some of their products are like really good, and then sometimes people are like, what's going on with this fallout here, because um, I've seen like in the Naked 2 palette, I know that some of the, col the colors fall out, have such bad fallout, and then some of them are just amazing, and I feel like it's always, it's never... I don't know. It's it's it is always the glittery colors, but um, it's not all of them. It's just only glittery colors have like this bad fallout. But I'll just I'll show you how bad this is. Okay, so I'm swiping it. See, like it comes off a lot, right? So you're like, whoa, it's cool. Like it's a good product, right? You put it on your hand, and you're like, oh, it comes off so easily, so smooth. Then you wanna rub it in a little bit. It's all gone. It's all gone. So, and it ends up all over under my eyes. Now lastly and certainly least comes Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo. Well, I was stupid and bought the dry shampoo before like researching a little bit and not that it was expensive but I watched a video. I will I started using it because my hair gets greasy so easily. So, like, maybe this will help me. Like, I can take showers, but it's not good to, like, wash your hair every single day. Maybe I can skip a day once a week and use this. I'm really excited. Okay, I use it. it smells really good. Um, I'm thinking it working. I come to school the next day, and everyone's like, is your hair what? Obviously, it doesn't work. And I watched um, someone else's video. She told her true opinions on this, too, and I totally agree with her. I mean, it does smell really good, so, you know, you can use it for a perfume or something. I don't know. Not actually, but, like, it's just, it doesn't work at all, and it makes my hair more greasy. So, like, what is the point of this? Like, literally, they probably just put water and put a smell to it and was like, ha, huh, joke's on you. Okay, guys, so that concludes my products I regret buying video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.